close take a look at this exclusive video shot by National Geographic of a jaguar fighting off a crocodile. National Geographic it sounds like the sort of argument you'd hear in a bar at the end of a boozy night who would win in a fight to the death, a jaguar or a crocodile, in South America. The question is hardly hypothetical, Nat Geo Wild's Jaguar vs. Croc even has the matchup on film. Given that it will be airing during the 8th annual Big Cat Week, it's not much of a spoiler to reveal the mammal comes out victorious. In the end, there is no versus, says Steve Winter, a National Geographic photographer specializing in big cats. There is food. The Pantanal is the no. One supermarket a restaurant for jaguars, the world's largest tropical wetland, the Pantanal spreads over parts of Brazil, Paraguay and Bolivia and is home to the world's largest jaguars. It is there that winter and wildlife filmmaker Bertie Gregory seek their sleek, spotted subjects. The world's third largest cat, after tigers and lions, jaguars grow up to 300 pounds in the Pantanal, where the protected environs offer plenty of food in a wide variety of species. Gregory and winter track an enormous jaguar known as Scarface because of his old wounds. The camera pans to what appears to be a rock, but viewers soon realize that it's the top of a caiman's head as the big reptile moves silently and quickly through murky water. But first an explanation to the observant and literal-minded National Geographic has built its reputation on accuracy. So why call it a croc when it's a caiman? Caimans are crocodilians, says Jeff Daniels, executive vice president and general manager of Nat Geo Wild. We went through standards to make sure we are being factually correct, technically. Frankly, in the television environment, it is a more recognizable way to title something. And part of our mission is to make these stories as accessible to as many as possible. We want to create zero barriers to people seeing this amazing work that filmmakers are delivering to us. Daniels continues. What we want to do is connect people's passion with our purpose, and we work with these incredibly passionate explorers who are tracking the big cat's lives. We want to feed and fuel our audience's passion for these animals and see what we can do to protect and preserve these species. Winter and Gregory are very passionate, and very, very patient. They stalk the stalker as Scarface lunges into the water when he thinks it's the perfect time to take out the caiman. I am so grateful to them for giving just a little window into the secret life of the jaguar. Gregory says, It's hard work trailing Scarface, who commands a territory of about 40 square miles. He needs the space, too. Jaguars have their pick of prey on the Pantanal, but hunting is always challenging. Even the best hunters come up empty 85% of the time. The Yakar Kaimans are no pushovers, with their 74 teeth and powerful tails. Plump capybaras, another potential jaguar meal, are faster than expected. The world's largest rodents, capybaras bark alerts to the large packs when they spot jaguars, and once they're in the water, they're speed demons. More did you know tigers are excellent swimmers? More facts about the big cats of the world More cheetahs, world's fastest cats, can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds More what do lions really want? Some stability and so another meal eludes Scarface. It's been nearly a week since his last one, we are up to about 14 failures with Scarface now, Winter says. But his years of following big cats spark some hope. So we are getting closer to the one that is going to work. Winter and Gregory keep at it as they encounter different species, all flourishing under the protection of the preserve. Giant river otters circle another jaguar, like the tough gang they are. Then a voice comes over a crackly radio alerting the men to a Scarface sighting. They speed over in a motorized boat. Although jaguars prefer blending in, Scarface's hunger lures him out into the open. Winter is ready with a camera lens that looks like a weapon. He does what so many wildlife photographers and cinematographers have always done, wait. Then he waits some more. The jaguar pounces, and a massive fight ensues. The water churns violently. Finally, Scarface surfaces, clutching a 120-pound caiman in his jaws. He drags his prey up the riverbank, under cover of bushes and onto dry branches to feed. I genuinely think that was the most incredible thing I have ever seen. Gregory says. Once Scarface's hunger is sated, another urge kicks in. He approaches a new female in his territory and with little fanfare gets down to business. For the next week or two they can mate up to 100 times a day, impressive until you learn that the entire act is over in 9 seconds. Their cubs will grow up with plenty to eat, although not all jaguars do. In other parts of the Pantanal, outside the protected region, cubs feast on a cow their mother killed. 
there will be a problem if the cubs develop a taste for cattle. Even though it's illegal in Brazil to kill jaguars, when the big cats prey on cattle, ranchers take revenge. In the two months they spent documenting jaguars, Winter and Gregory saw only two kills. And back in the protected wetlands, Scarface prowls the riverbank, lord of all he surveys. Jaguar vs. Croc This program follows world-renowned wildlife photographer Steve Winter and cameraman Bertie Gregory as they capture the rarely seen, remarkable lives of jaguars in the Pantanal of Brazil. The special premieres Sunday, Deck 10, at 9 ET, 8 CT on Nat Geo Wild as part of Big Cat Week. Read or share this story. https usat.ly2jc4kl